Hello everyone. I am Nagraj. Today's headlines. Rupee opened marginally down by 2 paise at 82.81 against the previous close on 82.79 dollars at the Interbank Foreign Exchange Market. Flipkart no longer has ownership in PhonePay. SEBI board approves gradual phasing out of buybacks through a stock exchanges route. Dronacharya Aerial Innovations lists at 90% premium over share price of BSC. Rupee should stabilize once US reduces speed of its rate of increases. EdTech startup College Deco gets 9 million from Winter Capital. India Cement shares fall 5 percent as CCI conducts a search on Chennai office. SEBI to introduce a regulatory framework for execution-only platforms for direct plans of mutual fund schemes. AgriTech startup Eggos raises 8.8 million dollars. Judge says cryptocurrency entrepreneur Sam Bankman-Fried can post. 250 million dollars bond and live in his parents home in california while he awaits trial elon musk says he will not sell more tesla stock for another 2 years us stock wall street tumbles on a rate recession worries bleak chip maker outlook bandhan in talks to sell stressed micro loans to phoenix or iifl fintech fund pick up 16% stake in samadhana for 2 million dollars recovery in asia Mergers and acquisitions stuck at 8 year lows rests on macro conditions Ola Electric to launch commercial vehicles soon Karnataka's new policy targets 10000 new startups in 5 years e-commerce enabler go quick to double employee strength amid funding winter and layoffs data analytics firm Tradens picks up 175 million dollar series B funding from Advent exclusive Big Basket raises 200 million dollars dollars from the Tata Digital others valuation hits 3.2 billion dollars Baroda BNP Paribas multi asset fund collects over rupees 1200 crores SEBI has introduced a regulatory framework for mutual fund platforms will soon get to charge transaction fees former Paytm CFO started Credmint raises 2 million dollars in funding Kinara Capital adds in 15 new branches reaches 125 branches across 100 plus cities in India to serve MSME sectors private firm to set up 2500 crore bank note paper mill in Balasore fintech startup buddy loan generates 7 million loan applications worth rupees 6000 crores karnataka high court asks irdia to ensure money of unclaimed policies transferred to senior citizens welfare fund Bank Bazaar gears up to launch IPO in 2023 plans to hire 1500 persons India is attractive investment opportunities says Goldman Sachs CEO David Solomon fintech industry needs to work relentlessly on safety to uphold people's trust says Prime Minister of India Shri Narendra Modi ji Radiant Cash Management Services IPO bought 2% on debit retail quota booked 4% Tiger Global backed Neo Jupiter valued at 710 million dollars earns rupees 40 lakh from operations in financial year 2022 japan's mufg bank extends rupees 450 crore credit facility to tata power thank you thank you so much if you like this video please subscribe and share my channel